guys. So today, Rob and I are going to tackle the bulkhead stairs. These things are crazy. They're all rotted out. It's like a fun house in here. You remember them stairs when you were a kid? They went all over the place. So that's what we got going on down here. Um, so we're going to tackle this. We got the old metal running. The stringers rattle. So this is this house is an old house. So typically you'll have a, a metal stringer here and one over here. They're all rotted out. Uh, I get a little bit of a lip issue up here. We're going to try to suck this in and fix this lip to button it back up so it doesn't keep leaking in here. And uh, the thing is, with, with these stringers, they're 250 bucks a piece. So for the pair, it's 500 bucks. I'm not going to pay all that kind of money. So Rob and I get some pressure treated stringers at Home Depot. Uh, they're pre formed and they've already got, you know, obviously the, the trim patterns cut out in them. So we're going to use those. Um, I'm intimate into the material for around 200 bucks with the stringers that we got in the wood and all that and now we got some bolts that'll go through concrete and stuff so we're gonna start zapping this together we're gonna rip the old crap out and um just kind of get to it i'm so going show you I'll be the sawzall. <laughs> <laughs> Needs a sawzall, you got me. <laughs> So we got Rob cleaning up the crud at the bottom of this. What are you using, my wife's laundry basket? Hell yeah. <laughs> she comes down here, she's going to kick your ass. <laughs> All your fault. <laughs> Boss. So Rob, what are you fixing? My door jam? That was rotted. Door jam's all jammed up. I gotta uh, secure it before I can work with it because I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to fall over. Yeah. We're using a special Ryobi, but we're using a special drill bit to go in the concrete and um, we got these Tapicon screws that we're using to secure some stuff. Uh, so you got to get the drill bit for this. You're supposed to use a hammer drill, but we're going to use our Ry Ryobi regular drill. We've used a lot of Ryobi tools making the deck over here. So Rob and I built this whole deck. You guys probably saw a, a temporary stair video Rob and I did, and we got grief from it. <laughs> but it was a temporary stairway. I said it was a temporary stairway. And uh, we ultimately ripped that out and we built this deck. And uh, a piece of this was left over from that stairway. We did a video on how to build like stairs. And uh, this is how it came out. Uh, it's all up to code. Most of the tools that we used are the Ryobi tools. That stuff works really great. Uh, as of this right now with the video, I'm not sponsored by Ryobi yet. I wish I was. Call me if you need me. <laughs> and uh, this stuff's pretty good stuff. Hey, back to this. <laughs> Bye. To see what Rob and I are up to with this wagon. This is what you really need to go to Home Depot in <laughs> to get all your tools. This thing's pretty crazy. Mark's a little camera shy. He's off here to the left. He won't be in the video. But uh, Mark, what's this thing got in it? 347 Stroker. 347 Stroker. Brent, come over here. Check this out. This is a serious wagon. He just built this whole motor himself. 347 Stroker. This thing's like a, a jewel under the hood of this thing. And uh, beautiful. What color? Just red, Mark? Candy Apple Ford Red. Candy Apple Ford Red. Torque thrust trims on it. Pan down the side of the car, Bren. Check out the interior of this. It's really nice. It's kind of old school. But uh, this is how you build a dragon wagon. <laughs> they come around back. Check this out. This taillights are pretty cool. Chevy. Are they Chevy taillights? Yeah. What'd you do that for? <laughs> they look light and ugly before. Yeah, it's pretty different. They look good. They crank in the back for you, uh, 
younger kids is for the, the window so you would have to crank down the window and you could lock it and you put the kids in the back and they, they smell the exhaust fumes <laughs> <laughs> mike's got the exhaust poking out the side it's a pretty cool falcon wagon all right so rob and i have to go to the home depot to get an impact driver because the drill we're using isn't going to work and uh, we're going to rip some tools and we'll cut back to you So Rob and I went out and we bought a Ryu drill. How's that working, Rob? This thing works the bomb. Yeah, the regular drill wasn't working too good. So we needed the right tool for the right job, right? That's absolutely right. All right, so now we're just kind of hammering in, drilling in. Bottom part of that tool is rotted, so Rob's just kind of cutting out the rotted part. We're going to add to it. We're going to fix the door jam while we're working on this project. All right, so I'm just going to get ready to start cutting the steer treads while Rob's hanging the stringers and uh, I'm gonna have to cut these flip them over and uh, we're gonna make probably about nine of them we only get six steps but we're gonna use the wood for something else too This gun is so much better than a screw gun. Is it? Oh my goodness. So we just picked up this Ryobi, um, in, what's it called? Impacker. Impacker, dang. <laughs> I can't think anymore. Beautiful. So we bought a kit and it was right now there was a special at Home Depot and it was two Ryobi batteries, a charger, and you get the, the gun for free. So it ended up working out pretty good. Okay. We're in full blown construction mode, right, Brad? <laughs> you gotta spin around that for a while. Oh, I want the, what do you want? Everything? Yep. Let's beat him. Let's see the right way. Alright, so right now, Rob and I are leveling off the steer treads, make sure everything's square and plumb. And then uh, once we get all this stuff leveled, we'll start tying everything in, and uh, we'll get back to you in a minute. So we finished building these steps and nice and solid. We got three stringers under them. And uh, we basically just cut the thread, the treads. The treads are cheaper if I bought uh, if I bought three big huge planks of wood. I think I got about two and a half by 12 inches Holy by I think I think they were like 10 footers or 12 footers. Tens. Those Ten. Tens. They were tens. Because if we bought the stair treads individually, they were like 20, 21 bucks a tread pre-cut at Home Depot so I just we cut our own but we needed a custom size anyway uh, to tie the, the treads on we use deck screws so if something happens and we need to remove the treads we can do that fairly easily yep. and uh, it's a lot safer than the old metal stringers that we had on here it's real secure feels pretty good that's gonna be it right Rob? About it, yep. Yeah, thanks for watching guys <laughs>